Hello, 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 one, it's your buddy Jay Rasik with another episode of the Omaha Henry Dorley Zoo. And today, we are doing some interior work with the Lied Jungle. So, I... Uh, as if you haven't seen a couple of the other episodes, the last time we did was some out uh, and some exterior work, and now we're just starting to put in the walls and the pathing for the inside. Um, in my hurry of getting all this stuff, uh, in the last video, I promised that we were also going to be doing a lot of interior work uh, as well as uh, some foliage work uh, on the exterior. Unfortunately, that footage got a bit deleted or it didn't record I, I don't know what happened <laughs> to be honest and I really don't want to redo it all um, so what we're going to do I'm gonna have a special little treat for you is towards the end of this video we're gonna do a live walkthrough uh, or real-time walkthrough of the current zoo uh, of the uh, lie jungle area of what we have accomplished here so Definitely stay tuned to the very end of this uh, video so then you can see exactly how it's looking at this point. And honestly, because of the fact that the the interior decorating and as well as the, a lot of the foliage work on the exterior, uh, since that video can't be found whether I deleted it by accident or just never recorded it, whatever the case may have happened, um, we will then uh, start doing some uh, very fun habitat builds. That's right. We are finally going to put an animal into the lie jungle. Um, and, uh, and then we're just going to kind of go from there and see where it springs off to. So um, also, uh, you know, uh, I want to give a good shout out to I am Lion Rider to Lion Rider again. Um, for uh, his penguin mod, uh, he did not overpromise and under under uh, deliver. That was uploaded today. Um, uh, that's as far as I can see. I think it might have actually did it last night after I recorded it or whatever the case is. But yeah, uh, he did. Rec uh, it is uploaded now, uh, and uh, looks like it was uh, put on on April 21st as he promised. So uh, so I recant that. But like I said, he said it was a hellacious mod to begin with. Uh, speaking of which, we also have a bunch of more uh, newer mods on the uh, Nexus mod page here. Um, Leaf went ahead and put on a, a couple um, a, a couple of flamingo mo mods as well. Uh, so that was just recently put on. Um, trying to think what other uh, mods that were put on recently here as well off the top of my mind here uh but yeah definitely you know go to the nexusmods.com and uh you'll be able to see a lot of great mods uh for animals that are are uh, being developed into um planet zoo so i will definitely uh have to say that uh it's, it's crazy. Uh, I'm loving it personally. I know there's a lot of people out there that are kind of hesitant um, of uh, downloading mods, but you know, um, it is definitely, in my opinion, well worth um, looking into because, like I said, a lot of these animals um, are very well done and they're almost nearly. Um, I have to say that they're they're near uh, frontier uh, quality, um, so definitely want to check those out. Uh, I did notice that there's also been uh, a dingo, or not dingo, but dodo uh, that have been uploaded into uh, Nexus mods as well, uh, which is kind of unique. Um, and, uh, you know, hey, it, it, I guess it's a modder's paradise right now. So um, I don't see why um, people can't uh, go ahead and, and do that. I, I wouldn't be shocked if we start seeing more prehistoric stuff um, as the modding community expands and so forth. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, um, we got uh, 
new mods that came out today uh, we have the Meritus, uh, the Meritus Grey Dodo by uh, TNT Games 999 and then of course Leaf Productions uh, sent out the new species uh, James Flamingo uh, and also the American Flamingo uh, we also had the African Penguin as of yesterday and also the Alpine Goat uh, was uploaded as well and uh, you know, over the week, there's been about 33 new mods. So, uh, it's a wonderful, uh, unique. I mean, it's just great. That's all I got to say. <laughs> um, one thing that caught my eye was the uh, Duke uh, Red Tufted Forest Deer, I think it was. Um, that was, I didn't realize how small it was. Uh, and uh, it's on Nexus Mods and the Red Forest Diker, Duker uh, by Sib uh, CDC, um, which really got me excited because, as you all know, I'm doing the Desert Dome, and that of course has um, a Clip Springer in there, and that is pretty much the same size as this uh, New Forest uh, Duker deer, um, so. I'm really excited to see if uh, they'll, if someone will go ahead and mod a clip springer, because that will help me keep the re the uh, uh, originality of this zoo, um, of this remake, to make it as legit as possible. Um, of course, you know we're still gonna have to wait for the meerkats that will probably be coming out in July, but hey, it's all right. So, as for the African ping penguin. Uh, definitely we'll have to say that probably Lion Rider will probably take that out down in Ju July when uh, the or once the uh, African pack is confirmed by Frontier so you know um, so yeah there we go on the modding side uh, as for this build right now um, as you can see we're just basically finishing up on some exterior work here um, and I kind of doing a little bit of exterior a little bit of interior kind of making it all move around and work a little easier um, to make it more realistic um, uh, Here I was actually trying to create the Omaha um, stakes uh, patio uh, And uh, you know just try and get things just looking a little better um, uh, It's funny because as I work more and more into it uh, I realize there's more and more that could or needs to be done um, and uh, it, it, it's just kind of funny how a build will evolve from that. Um, one thing that I did notice is that um, I did start using two different textures of woods, which you won't probably see in this video, but you will see in the uh, um, in the actual uh, walkthrough that we'll do towards the end of this video here. So. The next thing that I mentioned earlier, or as I mentioned earlier, the next thing I plan on doing is, is actually starting inside the light jungle and getting uh, some exhibits involved uh, and created. Um, I'm kind of debating on, on how to make it work. Um, I actually would like to create um, kind of a, a walkway around the zoo or around the building itself on the inside. Like basically I have an indoor corridor and honestly, if I knew I was going to do that in the very beginning, I would have actually did that in the original build um, of the dome portion or of the roof. Um, so then it all could go inside. But, you know, I didn't. So I'm going to have to work with it and, and try and finagle a bit. Because uh, I really don't want to redo the entire roof because that was a pain. I, I hated, I, I just was not a fan of doing the roof whatsoever. So... Um, I could easily do the sides. It's going to be the circular area that's going to be a bit of a, a trick for me. But, you know, I'll get it figured out. I normally always do. So, um, so in a few minutes here, we are going to be doing the walkthrough. Uh, and the walkthrough itself is definitely um, a little different than what you're seeing right now. And the reason being is, like I mentioned, uh, during that time that I was doing the interior um, I watched a video um, with Beyond Drew TV that uh, started using the Indian rugs as flooring and, and walls. And it really, I'm like, oh, wow, that's not a bad idea. Because uh, I just could not find a flooring that I like that matched some of the 
uh, photos that I had on file for the light jungle. So I went ahead and, and got into that and, and uh, got that all taken care of. Um, and, you know, lo and behold, here we go. So. All right, so we're about to finish up on here. So I'm going to leave you here for about two minutes and I will see you in the walkthrough. Welcome back everyone and here we are with a live walkthrough here and we're coming right about dusk here it looks like um, and as you can see this front entryway has make a huge transformance um, a couple different things that I've just changed here is actually don't mind this area here uh, we got a little uh, staff entrance down there basically I believe it's a staff entrance um, and then you have your main lower tier uh, jungle trail entrance here um, and we did a lot of foliage work as you can see here um which you know i'll show as it gets a little dark here and it's really absolutely magnificent um so went ahead and uh did the best we could with what we had um i had a kind of finagle with the past as you can see here and i could probably bring that up but the whole thing is when people walk on here i don't like their feet getting cut off i don't know why so uh so here we are in the lower section of the light jungle also known as the jungle trail we're still working on this a um, couple things that I, I pointed out um, uh, before is a, a new thing that I've discovered on how to do um, is uh, fire sprinklers so for those detailed orientated people right here you just take a bunch of uh, the uh, screen mount wall mounts uh, plug it into the ceiling and change them to flex uh, change the color on them and just rotate them like four or five times and you got a nice little uh, uh, fire sprinkler so that's kind of cool um, so now this section is actually backwards um, the top level is not supposed to be a walk is is not really a walkthrough uh, but the lower level is um, and I didn't realize that till after I started finishing all the pathing and everything and I could probably go ahead and change that up, but I um, really don't want to. So we got our elevator here, and then we go upstairs to the uh, upper tiered level. Of course, I put some vending machines to help out with finances and everything. Um, so one of the newest things that we put I put on the blueprint recently is a defibrillator. Uh, defibrilla defibrillator. Um, uh, so you know that you can add some realism to your zoo uh, these two are blueprints I just kind of added that in um, and I think it looks very well nice, very simple to do so this is basically the view that I had with the picture um, that I was using um, not much to really go off of uh, but I kind of did a lot of this from memory as well so I'm gonna show you a picture of what the lie jungle uh, upper tier really looks like so here we are right um, as the main um, uh, 
top, the upper level that goes to the uh, light jungle walkway. So as you can see, there's two doors in the far back area. Um, there's no walkway. Um, there's like a little uh, custodial cabinet of some sort or a closet. And then there's some a restroom on the far end. And then uh, where our back is to right now is where the elevator and the stairwell goes through. So um, I obviously did it as reverse, as you can see. Um, where the lower level is not a walkthrough, but the upper part is. I will probably change that um, eventually. Um, when? I do not know, so don't ask. Um, so, unfortunately, I just put all the pathing and did all this work before um, we actually get, got there. So, um, there's our entrance and exit to the live jungle area. Um, good old Frank. And since Dusk is right around the corner, uh, let's go ahead and, and bring Dusk in here. Uh, so then it's, it's some nighttime viewing, because uh, I love the night views uh, in this game. Kind of gives you a little realism. Um, I just love the way it looks. This building looks just so awesome at night, um, interior-wise. There you go. So again, there's uh, the top part, part, and we'll show one more picture, uh, the picture of the light jungle as is again. So as you can see, I think I captured it pretty well uh, for the most part. Uh, so, uh, you know, obviously there's some work involved still, but hey, it is what it is. And you know, there's only so much that we can do in the game. So, we're gonna go ahead and head down to the lower level, or the main, or yeah, I guess you would consider the lower level. So probably what I'm going to end up doing um, is I'm probably gonna end up taking this stairwell out and putting a stairwell here um, to go down to the lower level. Um, and I think, and then that way it would be a little bit more realistic. So we'll probably end up doing that. So, and then that kind of goes out to uh, the Durham Treetop Restaurant. Um, obviously, we still got a lot of work to do in this area. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what to do yet. Um, I'm, if I remember right, I think it's just a hallway with some pictures. And there's our Durham treetop restaurant overlooking the Lide jungle. Coming soon. <laughs> so we will just kind of mosey on. We'll kind of go to the exterior part of the. Uh, and there's another look into the treetop restaurant here as well so we're gonna go ahead and now take a look at the exterior portion of the zoo and uh, you know I've discovered these new well not new uh, the Indian uh, brick set and I've been making my own little kind of like stone path walks and so forth and I'm really loving it um, I did not realize how steep I made this this slope right here, but it is what it is. So uh, there's a finished Omaha steak uh, grill patio. I think that was done very nicely, and we'll just kind of fly on through. Give you guys an overlook of the entire area. Now, one thing that I did differently in this gardening foliage area versus what I normally do is I went ahead and actually took some actual trees and just sunk them in to make them look like bushes. Um, that seemed like the pretty more reasonable thing to do. So, all right, well, there you have it. There is the Lied Jungle walkthrough. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, I hope things are going great for you, and I hope you are safe and healthy, 
And until next time, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and uh, click that bell notification for upcoming videos that I'll be posting here soon. And uh, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, build, play, and enjoy. Goodbye. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Did you enjoy this video? It would really mean a lot to me if you smash that like button to let me know. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon for future video contents and notifications of uploads. Also, leave a comment below on what you like about this video and what you'd like to see in the series. You can follow me on Steam, Twitch, and Discord. Till next time, build, play, and enjoy.